well, I'm artifacts of Mars. And petty, tyrannical, bull bleep, California is filling skate parks with sand to enforce social distancing. Backlash blows online. Yeah, backlash is going to blow online. You got that right. Officials in California have resorted to filling skate parks with loads of sand to stop kids from skateboarding during the pandemic, all in the name of public health. Days ago, a popular skate park in San Clemente was filled with 37,000 tons of sand to discourage skaters and promote social distancing. Los Angeles CBS reported. That's KTLA. So, I, uh, San Clemente had shut down all its parks and facilities under an April 1 of the state stay at home order orders, but skaters ignoring signs warning against trespassing at the Ralph Skate Court 241 F in Ida La Pada, report said. Since park facilities have been closed, city officials say they routinely saw people visit the skate park, even by children accompanied with their parents, according to San Clemente Times. City officials told the newspaper they followed in the footsteps of other cities, and they filled the skateboard, skate park with 37 tons of sand. This is unbelievable. Up here it says 37,000 tons of sand, and it's probably 37 tons, but whatever. So, when I heard this, I'm going, alright, this has nothing to do with the virus, this is vandalism. So, we'll take a look at state penal codes concerning vandalism. What the state officials have done is a violation of... Vandalism laws under California law, PC 594. Since the damage is far more than $400, we're talking felony. Whoever these officials are who ordered this should be punished. This doesn't, anyway, we're not talking about any uh, Chinese virus, Wuhan flu, or whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm only talking about their actions. Their actions are criminal. For a person to be convicted of violation of PC 594, the prosecution must prove the following. 1. You maliciously defaced with graffiti or other inscribed material, damaged, destroyed real personal property, and you did not own the property, own the property with somebody else, and the amount of damage <coughs> caused by vandalism was $400 or more. Well, they didn't go out with spray cans, obviously not. They went out with a bulldozer. This is still criminal. Clearly criminal, in my book. If it were up to me, these uh, officials are doing this all over the state, not just San Clemente. They would be up on felony charges right now. I see this as crime. I don't see this as having anything to do with any virus or anything else, but there's more. California Code, Penal Code, Pen Squiggle 594. It's basically the same thing. This is destruction of government property, which is a felony if you over 400 bucks. Now, this is clearly criminal activity. I have I ain't going to state it. I'm not going to take it back. For up to me, there would be a whole lot of officials in this country sitting in jail cells right now. Especially officials that do things like this. But people are tired of this. We're be tired of being penned up. But, uh, now you're destroying public and or private property all in the name of protecting us? No, that's a crime. And it needs to be punished. And so, here's the Orange County District Attorney, Todd Spitzer. I uh, wasn't able to get an email for him. I did get an email for Orange County, and I let him have it. 
Because when I get this angry, I stop caring. Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer, I uh, sent him a tweet telling him that I expect him to do his job and start arresting San Clemente City officials. Of course, he won't. Of course, they all uh, stick together. Uh, I wonder if this guy is related to Spitzer in New York. I'd have to look that up. But anyway, so now they're resorting, these city council members and state officials are resorting to crime to enforce uh, their whatever, their social distancing things. I cannot stand for crime and I cannot tolerate this. I have to speak out because in my opinion these people deserve to go to prison. Kids will be kids. They'll go out to these parks no matter what. They don't care. That's the way it is. But I'm not going to stand by and watch while people are uh, having their rights taken away from them. And then on top of that, we have public officials committing crimes. And they should be immediately removed from office and put up on charges of vandalism and destruction of property under California Penal Code, as I just said. I wrote a fact of Mars. I'm furious. I told you the way I see it, and that's the way it is. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.